everybody and welcome to a new episode I guess a new story for the event to come out shut up and another surprise come out uh, in the mail hope I get to open quick the mail and yeah we got a new skin I thought it's gonna come out in the next update why am I Why do I feel like actually I have to get I get the characters and other skins? Okay, they see these new skins. Okay, where is it? Ooh, fancy. And I actually curious if we gonna see them in catching with this outfit. Okay, next is Ember. Actually, I see no difference between these two. Like, ba you can say that this is like, ju they just add uh, a little more of the original outfit. And of course, I don't have Mona. Or maybe you can check up her in the archive. Well, now she looks like an nun. So yeah, these are the new skins. I actually didn't expect to just come out now. Maybe in the next update, but you're there. Mm. I kind of wish now Maybe if I actually do a new next account and just try to play the first hour of the game and see if I can change Jean outfit in the captain. It's time to move on. We shouldn't stay here. Ah, you've arrived. I've made all the necessary preparations and even packed some handmade snacks. Oh, that reminds me. I've also prepared some launch tubes made by Pungi. I hope the Adepti will like them. Is I there hope. anything else I should bring? Ganyo. Good. In that case, let's first pay Madame Ping a visit in the city before heading out to Joyun Karst. The festive season is upon us. This is no time to be running hither and thither. We should relax and enjoy the season. I get it, Granny, but you know, having lots of clients is a good thing. I can take that. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but really, child, who could be seeking your help during the lantern rite? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Madam Ping! Happy lantern rite! It's a pleasure to see you again, Madam Ping. How are you? Oh dear, well, look who's here. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you all in time for the festival. Hello, traveler. Long time no see. Oh, and Lady Kuching is here too. The Jixing have prepared some small gifts for you to celebrate this festive occasion. There are some seasonal goods, two bolts of fine silk, and some exotic flower seeds which I pick specifically for you, Madam Ping. I brought all the lighter gifts with me, but the silks are still on the way. I just submitted them for delivery, so I'm sure they'll arrive in good time. I don't know why, but Please, there's like a little their humble gifts. I hope you'll find them to your liking. Wow, those gifts sound marvelous. Please be sure to thank the Chising on our behalf. Yes, how very nice of you. I'm sure the flowers will be most beautiful if you personally selected the seeds. Thank you very much, Kuching. Please, enjoy them. We intend to visit the other Adepti as well, so I'm afraid we must be going now. I presume you mean Cloud Retainer and the others? Yes, they should be over in Jueyun Karst. By the way, 
I've heard that you designed all the street decorations yourself, Kuching. You decorated the city so beautifully, yet you don't even have the time to go and see it for yourself. What a pity. Yenfei really enjoys spending time at the festival. You'll find her wandering around there whenever she can spare a moment. Come on, Granny. I wasn't wandering around. I was providing essential consultation to my clients. Oh, is that so? Were you also holding consultations with clients while you stood in front of the grilled tiger fish stand for all that time? As a matter of fact, I was helping them calculate the prices. It's not easy, you know. I had to check a lot of different items. I must see this like a excuse. That's right. There are no holidays in my line of work. I have to be ready whenever my clients need me. That sounds exhausting. Oh, Paimon can't imagine a life without holidays. Well, though there are no set holidays, I do get to decide on my own schedule. I can always budget some time to relax. Otherwise, I would always look exhausted in front of potential clients. It'd be hard to land new cases after leaving a terrible first impression. Besides, uh, what's the saying? Ah, yes. A rested worker is an efficient worker. You hear that touching? I was there many times when I was supervising the festival construction, but I haven't been there since. I was planning to go after I finished my work, but the work keeps piling up. I ended up completely forgetting about it. <laughs> yes, I should take the opportunity to show you around while you're here. But first, we should head to Joy Yoon Karst. If you'll excuse us, Madam Ping. We'll be leaving now. The festive season is fast approaching. What brings you to one's abode? Has the Ministry of Civil Affairs simply run out of work for you to do? Well, with Lantern Rite just around the corner, I decided it was a good time to take leave and pay you a visit. But, um, where are Mooncarver and Mountain Shaper? Them? Oh, don't even get one started. Oh, is that not the Traveler and the Yu Hung too? Hmm, a rare visitor indeed. Happy Lantern Ride, everybody! Merry Christmas. Greetings, Venerable Adeptus. And greetings, Ganyu. Huh? Lady Kuching, I didn't expect to see you here. The Yu Hung of the Chi Sing. Here. Most fascinating. Hmm. Most courteous of you to travel hither and pay your respects. What is the purpose of your visit, if one may ask? It's the festive season, and on behalf of the Chi Sing, I'd like to give you our regards. Please, accept our humble gifts. As the governing body of Liu e, the Chi Sing must be busy with a myriad of affairs. And yet, you still take the time to visit one in this mountain abode. Eminently considerate of you. Oh, what an amusing cylindrical device. I wonder what that could be. I was curious about that. This is a new type of firework which has been modified by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Oh, I've heard that you are fond of gadgets, so I've brought one for your amusement. Cloud Retainer. Although she is not outwardly opposed to us, she is still skeptical of Liyue being ruled by humans. Maybe she thinks humans are still too young to handle it. Hmm. No matter. With time, our strength will become apparent enough. Before then, we should try to give her a good impression. <laughs> good thing I came prepared. Cloud Retainer has a great interest in gadgets, so she will certainly appreciate this gift. Okay, I want to see. I don't know why, but... Oh, hell no. How did I not de de notice that Mechan is right there? But I want to see her. I can't... I don't know. It give me the Code Gears eyes vibe. 
I'm gonna edit that in to have a, a presentation. Ganyu has said that Cloud Retainer is very picky about food, so I made sure not to bring any snacks to avoid upsetting her. I've given everything thorough consideration. It should all go well. Goodness me. Who ever would have thought? Oh, my, how very interesting. Imagine in this time we just sit there and just wait for a response like, um, hey, Cloudy Tena, Kaching, are you home? It is intricate with ingenious design and is aesthetically agreeable. Yes. Judging from Cloud Retainer's expression, it seems this gift was a success. Very good. One shall gladly accept this device. One surmises from Ganyu's words that you also wish to see Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper. Pity. Your timing is most unfortunate. Those two old fossils. Fossils? Moon Carver has been most anxious to see how Liyue Harbor fares. But the agreement was clear. Liyue is now in the hands of the Chi Sing, and he cannot simply roam into the city and begin supervising others' work as he pleases. So one tried to persuade him otherwise, proposing that if he could not be placated, he could go to the city disguised as a human, and take a brief look around. Alas, he is too stubborn, too proud. He would have none of it. Thereafter, he left, claiming to have gone traveling. He has not returned since. Mountain Shaper, however, is more open-minded. But he said he wished to look for something new with which to defend the tranquility of his mountain. He told one that he was leaving in search of treasures, and one has not heard from him since. Wait. Surely this is not a case of two old coots and cahoots? Rusing to excuse themselves that they might venture behind one's back, to scurry away and go traveling together. <laughs> okay, I hope that we get to see them NPC. <laughs> Jeez, that'd be actually funny if you act we accidentally cause them forever. Oh my god, this is actually fun. Huh? What's everybody doing here? Huh? This voice. Is it Shanha? Oh, the Harata uh -huh. Oh? So Shanha's here too! Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Is she, is she the one here? that you mentioned before? Hello, everyone. Shanha, this is Ganyu. You have most likely heard of her. Uh, oh, uh, hello. I'm Ganyu. I work at Yujing Terrace. I've heard that you returned to Liyua Harbor recently, so if you need anything, please feel free to come to me. I will. Thank you. Finally, the set is complete. The top and the bottom. Retain a claws. Actually, I'd not be surprised if it's actually not gonna point out the claws that they have to see or something like that. I brought some food from the city. I heard that during Lantern Rite, people in Liyue bring food to share with their friends. So here I am. Oh no, I made a point of not bringing any food offerings. Is it going to be okay? Oh? And you even brought food for those two old fossils. That's right. Hmm. <clears throat> After barely a few days in the city, you have learned so much. Thank you for these delectable edibles, Shenhe. Everyone, you shall all be staying in Liyue Harbor in the future. One should like to think that you will all look out for each other. Is that understood? Will do. Yes, understood. 
This place is much livelier than I'd imagined. You have no idea. And I'm still waiting for a funny bit about the soil of this too. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, this is event about him. Or he was named after this event. I don't remember. The Conqueror of Demons? One has not seen him of late. Oh, how sad. Well, then he's probably not enjoying Karst. Hmm. Let's go look for him in his usual spot, at Wang Shuin. In short, one is the only Adeptus who has elected to remain in Juryun Karst for the festival. Had Ganyu not come to visit, one would likely have stayed firmly put in one's abode to resume research of gadgets and mechanics. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please accept my profuse apologies. <laughs> Why the sudden solemnity? It would certainly not be the first time one has been interrupted on your account. As a youngling, you did so love to scurry around the place while one's attention was monopolized <gasps> by mechanisms. You were especially drawn to a certain implement one had made. Oh, what was it? Oh? Oh no, here she goes again. This could spell trouble for Ganyu. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Cloud Retainer. I just remembered there's something I must attend to. I should be going. Oh, why the sudden haste? With the Yuhang present, why not settle this matter here and now? Uh, n no it's something very important. In fact, I must see Lady Ningguang about it immediately. A matter so pressing that you must find Ningguang in person? Yeah, we have Ningguang in party. I wish now I change the party. Although I don't know to switch Nguyen or I'll be the for Ningguang. But I guess I'm gonna keep that. But yeah, we have Ningguang right here. So no excuse, you have to hear that side. Uh, yes. Ningguang and I have different scopes of work, you see, and Ganyu has to report to both of us, respectively. It's indeed not easy for her. Don't help her. Lady Kuching is trying to help me. Yes, that's right. I'm very sorry, everyone. <laughs> I will take what my is leave. This? <laughs> I'm pretty stuck in the Now you stop. I know it's, uh, sometimes this guy can, can be really funny sometimes. Huh, gone already. That child, she has always been easily ruffled. One can sympathize, however. It is no simple thing to be a secretary. Nearly every matter in Liyue Harbor Momentous or trivial, passes through Ganyu's diligent hands. But even as an adeptus, she must never neglect her own health, lest she fall prone to exhaustion. You heard that? Ganyu is an assiduous oh, worker, he... apt to forgoing food and rest once she is busy. Please make sure she eats and sleeps properly whenever you see her. I will. Ganyu has always been a great asset to us. Her health is a priority, so I will take good care of her. Looks good, Saki. The Yuhang, reliable as ever. <laughs> it was indeed a wise decision to leave Liyue Harbor to you. We will certainly strive to live up to your expectations. As for these edibles, hmm, they do look delectable indeed. You may leave them here. Shanha shall bring these into one's abode, and one shall pass them on to Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper once they have made their return. This firework has an intriguing design. One must conduct a thorough study of it, and one also wants to hear what Shanha has learned in Liyue Harbor. Oh, yes. I have many interesting stories to tell. 
Let us chat while one scrutinizes this device. Yeah! Don't you rest during the holidays? This is a festive season after all. <laughs> one has long been living secluded in the mountains and no longer observes the holidays. Worry not, one shall take appropriate care of oneself. Rest is crucial. If one is too devoted to one's research and falls ill, one shall be in no fit state to test the devices personally. You heard that? Is it really that important to test it yourself? Of course. As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. If one spends all that time working on a machine, yet forgets to test the outcome. Hm. That would be akin to a chef who never tries his own food, no? It is unwise to put the cart before the horse. Ah, <sighs> enough idle chatter, everyone. One must go and continue one's research. Come, Shanha, this way. I don't think she can fly. of an adeptus she takes good care of those around her though she lives in seclusion she also manages to bring everyone together a hermit who's more social than most living in society <laughs> what an interesting character traveler paimon let's head to wang Xuan. perhaps we'll find the conqueror of demons there Let's ask Virgil Det where the Conqueror of Demons may be. Huh? Hold on! Isn't that... Oops. Dr. Baiju, here are the herbs. I've picked lots of them. Okay, that was a little accident. I was actually surprised to see these two here all over the place. Splendid! Let me pack up, and then we can be on our way. Hey, you guys! What are you doing? Dr. Baiju wanted herbs. So, I came to collect herbs. Lots of them. And... Dr. Baiju came too. Aww. How cute. Traveler! Paimon! Oh, and Lady Kaching! It's a pleasure to see you all. We're here stocking up more herbs. Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs out of digestive herbs during the festival seasons. With Lantern right just around the corner, I thought we should get prepared. We came all this way to collect some herbs, and we've picked quite the assortment. We'll be on our way back to the pharmacy once the herbs are sorted. I certainly didn't expect to see the Yuhong all the way out here. I have some business to attend to here. Ah, I see. It's nearly time to celebrate Lantern Rite, and you're still running errands. Hardworking as always. I appreciate the sentiment, Dr. Baiju. I'm just doing my job. Kaching and the Traveler are very busy. And we are busy too. Everyone, keep it up. Kind of ironic because I never got her yet. Although she's like the running joke that when you use PT, you just get her. Right. Thank you, TT. We shouldn't tarry here any longer. Take care, you two. Uh, <clears throat> three. Traveler? Let's go find Virgil Det. 